Child marriage prevalence in Indonesia remains high, and the latest report says that the country ranks second with the highest number of child brides among ASEAN countries, including in West Nusa Tenggara. MNC World News, Ami Afriadni explains efforts taken by officials to keep girls out from child marriage. Siti Nurhirai was still 15 year old when she was forced to marry her 16 year old boyfriend by her parents. As a devoted daughter, she didn't dare to oppose the custom of her real age in West Nusa Tenggara. Just a couple months later, she found out that her husband had an affair while she was pregnant. He left her, forcing Siti to find a job for a living. The nightmare seemed more vivid when doctor diagnosed her with cervical cancer. Tradisi di Lombok ini kan emang kayak gitu. Merari itu saya menikahnya karena telat pulang. Iya. Kok di sini kan telat kalau kalau di rumah saya kalau e, pulang belum pulang sama pacarnya jam 10 itu udah dianggap menikah. Tapi kan saya e, belum siap menikah. Tapi mau gimana lagi? Soalnya kan adatnya udah seperti itu. Jadi saya turutin. Siti wasn't alone. 20-year-old Rukaya had to go through three marriages since she was 15 before she understands the risk of child marriage. Rukaya with her kids are now involved in campaigns to end child marriage with a local NGO. Siti Nur Hidayah and Rukaya are among the many women who have experienced child marriage in West Nusa Tenggara province in Indonesia with the highest number of child marriage local tradition, religious view, and social media have sadly weighed in the rising number of child marriage here in the province. And in Kakait, where I'm reporting now, is one of the villages in the province where child marriage is mostly found. And local officials, local villagers, and NGOs have been working together to eradicate child marriage by campaigning through various media, including by promoting Awik Awik Kasihan sama orang-orang tua yang ekonominya sudah sudah begitu terus diwarisi lagi sama anaknya yang melatar belakangi kami di desa pemerintah desa untuk menginisiasi pembuatan awik-awik itu perkawinan anak juga berdampak pada terjadinya banyak kasus kekerasan dalam rumah tangga bekerja sama dengan partner untuk uh, kita membangun uh, kesadaran masyarakat untuk masyarakat sadar akan bahaya perkawinan anak kita juga kemudian bersama-sama dengan uh, partner dan masyarakat di tingkat desa itu membangun yang namanya awik-awik The 2012 survey by UNICEF reported that nearly 26% of girls in West Nusa Tenggara are married under age 18 the total number reached nearly 1.5 million across Indonesia. Based on Indonesia's marriage law, the minimum age of marriage for girls is set at 16 years and 18 years for boys. Based on Indonesia's marriage law, the minimum age of marriage for girls is set at 16 years and 18 years for boys. Indonesia still has a lot of homework to do to protect innocent girls trapped in child marriage. Ami Afriadni, MNC World News, West Nusa Tenggara.